Yo, what's going on guys? It's that boy Brian and welcome to something brand new on my channel today We are starting what I want to make into a series pretty much I'm gonna go around and interview some 2k youtubers uh, And pretty much get their opinions on different things about 2k basketball YouTube and all things related like that So today our first guest is Carson Cruz an NBA 2k youtuber uh, If you guys don't know who he is, uh, I'll leave all his links in the description. He's a really cool guy So yeah, that's gonna be our first guest. So how are you Carson? Man, I'm doing well. How about yourself? Doing pretty good, man. I'm just excited for 2K20. The demo comes out tomorrow. I'm sure you've seen the uh, the My Career trailer and all that. Uh, yeah, absolutely, man. I'm I'm excited as well. And uh, this is gonna be my first year playing uh, Park or My Career. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I've played. This, I've started My Career uh, the last two years, but I haven't actually played any games or anything. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to get in and try out tons of builds and stuff. And I'm actually gonna. Uh, start off the 2K20 by, during the demo making uh, build, uh, videos about different builds and stuff because not only do I think it will relate to, uh, you know, views for my channel for, you know, park videos mm -hmm. and stuff, people that play that, but also uh, I think it's important to know the builds uh, for, for my team as well. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. I'm in the same boat as you. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I've actually played a lot of career in park in the past. I'm a pretty big um, pro-am player uh, with my friends on that. And I, I, with all like the things they've added with like the my player builder, it just sounds so cool. I cannot wait to get it started and to just start making the builds like you said. Yeah, for sure. It's good. Yeah, looks, so, uh, looks like there's going to be a lot to do on the demo. Absolutely. Yeah. With like, yeah, it was like a two minute trailer and that's like just like some cut up footage. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of cut scenes and stuff like that. Hopefully we get a look at the park or the neighborhood soon. I know Ronnie said there's going to be like a trailer for that coming out soon. So hopefully that comes around sooner than later. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, so, I think this week they'll drop a couple more videos. Yeah. I think he said there's going to be a Parker. Yeah. Yeah. I think he said there's going to be like a trailer tomorrow for something and then the park trailer maybe either later this week or next week i don't know nice did you think about what kind of build you're gonna make yet like what you're thinking you're you're gonna want to do with your player well i have a 12 year old son and uh carson got you and uh he he asked me that question or tells me what he's going to build no less than two or three times a day <laughs> so yeah I, I have thought about it a lot but like i tell him is that until my hands are on the controller exactly. and, and I'm in there. Oh, yeah. uh, I mean, I could tell you that I was going to make a, you know, I mean, so I like to, I'm a shot creator at heart, I guess. Like, so uh, I recently like decided that I was going to learn how to ISO and I've, I've been doing that every day. I've been playing about four to five games and, and it's a totally different, you know, ball game because there's, you know, it's it's just whoever, you know, I've got my lineup set up where basically anybody that takes the ball in the inbounds, I can call isolation mm -hmm. and, you know, dribble with them. And it's created so much more space on the floor because a lot of the times I would have problems with is I would dribble into a double team or I would dribble into an area where the guy was baiting me for the passing mm -hmm. lanes. Yeah. And so – I don't know exactly what build I'm going to build, but it's going to be something that can dribble really well, uh, and and shoot off the dribble, and then and then I also like, I like to pass a lot. Like I, I when I play, I played a little bit of park this year uh, with some friends and with my son, and my guy this year he's not very good. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's a 79 overall because yeah, I didn't play yeah, that yeah. much, but uh, he his playmaking slashing. And I really like to break down the defense and then find the open man. So maybe shot creator playmaker. I don't know. Yeah. See, I don't even know what the builds are going to be called this yeah. year. So I don't know what you know exactly to tell you that I'm going to build. But that it's something going to be along the lines of a, a shot creator or a playmaker. Gotcha. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the same with me. I had a uh, a playmaking sharpshooter this year, and I pretty much. I, I'm in like the same boat as you. I like to, you know, get inside to the paint pretty much then kind of dish out to my teammates to try and find the open man. Um, like you said, I don't really know what they're going to do with the builder. Like we know some information, but we don't like, like you said, we don't know until we really get our hands on the game. So it's like, you know, I have to see what the options are, but like, I, I'm kind of like what you said. I like, um, I think I'm probably going to make my guy be able to dribble really well and probably be able to shoot really well. I was thinking kind of like a Steph Curry build. Yeah. Um, 
I think that'd be kind of good because obviously Steph's like an amazing shooter and he's a big a good playmaker. And then maybe add some defense into that if I can. I don't really know. Like I have to see how it goes. Yeah, I, I'm right now. I use a, a in my lineup. It's I mean I, I'm using cards like uh, just I mean for my team instance relating to that Jason Tatum. Uh, mm-hmm. I really like John Wall. I like Lonzo Ball. Um, might be the I mean I know I didn't say anything about defense, but you know defense yeah. is a huge part of exactly. uh, yeah, basketball, sure. especially in three on three because it's like you know one person you know really needs to be able to create some turnover so that there's transition buckets because there's not there's not a whole sure. lot of those in the three on three. It's you know <laughs> there's there's a court and there's tons of room to run around, but yeah, lots of ball galaxy opal. I've been playing with him a lot. Um, you know, in real life, he's not really a shot creator, but the thing about these Galaxy Opals is, is that every single one of them they can, do they can shot create, they can yeah. play make. Uh, oh, yeah. and, and what I've just, you know, kind of been thinking about is looking over him is like, you know, he's got a decent post fade away. It's 92. It's actually really good. That's, that's I don't know good. how to, if you can, you know, make a smaller, you know, six, six or under guy with, you know, that good a post fade and still have right. the dribbling and all that. This, that's something... I shoot a lot of post fades being that, you know, I'm a shot creator and I shoot off the dribble. So if I'm in isolation, you know, and then I get from one side of the court to the other and then back, like a lot of times the post fade or the step backs, like the, the move, um, mm-hmm. you know, 95s on his mids and threes, you know, they don't have to be that good, but just that's pretty good. And, and 99 ball controls, pretty important. <laughs> I think, I mean, yeah, my no, 79 yeah, sure. has like 91 ball control, I think. So, uh, you can do pretty much anything, but, but yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. My friend actually had a playmaking slasher, like you were saying, your build was, and he was like, a, I think he got only got to like an 88. He kind of like spent 50 bucks and got to 85 and didn't really play much of him. But yeah, playmaking slasher is a good build because you could, like you said, those good ball handling, ball control, and then you can also drive inside and score easily inside. So yeah, for sure, that's a good build. Um, so let's talk about my team. Obviously, you're uh predominantly a my team YouTuber. Um, so I have some questions about that. So starting off with 2k20, what's something that you want to see in my team that was n- not in my team this year? What do you want to see in, in 2k20? What, what could they add? What could they add? Um, I'm, the biggest thing for me would be like the, like last year they had my team unlimited, you know, is having yeah. more options online to use different lineups. Like. I know, like, they have the collector levels and stuff, and, like, the guys that spend all the money, you know, seem to be the only one that do, does do those. I mean, there's very few um, no-money-spent people who are doing collector levels, but, like, right. giving guys that grind right. the game a reason to collect the cards and keep the cards. Um, like, in my team, Unlimited, for instance, uh, just saying since that's the mode this year, I don't know what it's going to be called next year, but in my team unlimited, you know, having a lineup restriction so that, you know, this guy that's grinding the game and not spending money opening packs, you know, doesn't have to face 13 galaxy opals or a team that has, you know, eight bronzes and five galaxy opals on their bench and they lowered their overall to 53. Oh yeah. Um, Yeah. You know, restrictions. So it's like, you know, for this, it's different rewards. So there's different rewards in unlimited, Right. But they have more rewards, so that it entices people to actually do the collecting. Um, it, you know, use three golds, four emeralds, two silvers, and a ruby card, and yeah, yeah and exactly. and get this. You know, and the, at the beginning of the year, get this ruby. Uh, I don't even know who to thank. Hidu Turkaloo. So you get a ruby Hidu Turkaloo if you can go win five or six games in a row instead of twelve, because. You know, make it something that you could sit down and do in an afternoon. Realistic, yeah, uh, yeah. I think that would be cool. Um, yeah, I I hundred percent agree. They have something like that in I think. Oh, geez, how long? Like two K fourteen, maybe a while ago. I don't know if you remember. It was it was like they had like divisions. I think it was so like division one. You could only use like three golds. Division two, you could only use like. I want to say, I forget what like the, the tiers were back then, but it was something like you were saying, and, and I 100% agree. I think that's 
that's good because like like you said like you know off the or not really off the rip like let's say like in december like yeah i'm no money spent guy right so let's say i only have oh and only amethyst some diamonds on my team and then this guy's out here with like pink diamonds because he spent three thousand dollars in the game like there's nothing i can do yeah, about that you know like they're like that is a huge thing is is i mean i i've spent a lot of money up until december and i mean i can tell mm-hmm. you it only took me and i wasn't the first but i mean i was pretty close up there last year at the beginning of the year and it only took me till like october to have all the pink diamonds i mean like or you know midway right. through october i yeah. don't know how long it was but it wasn't very long it didn't take long yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was yeah, from opening packs, sure. and you see YouTubers talk about, you know, that they're, you know, they're not really spending that much money on packs. Like sometimes I, I feel like they might be lying to themselves about what they're really spending on packs. If you if you look at their collections and, you know, yeah. hear them talk, and you don't see a video of them sniping uh, cards on their YouTube channel because you know that they would put that up if they actually did, then, then you know it's like. Yeah. You know, no reason to yeah. sugarcoat things. Like it could be tough. This game could be tough. It's, it's a mental mental and physical yeah, grind of sure. trying to you know if you're not going to spend money on it trying to figure out you know a, what to do and and when and how to do it like a big thing i'm trying to figure out and and what i learned is i went back and looked at my team and last year i got all those you know token rewards at the beginning of the year right i can't tell you the last time i right. used anybody that i got since november but i have yeah. 15 pink diamond diamond cards and 75 percent of them had mm-hmm. diamond shoe diamond contract and were clipped completely badged out I, I i look back and i'm like in yeah. 2k20 you know something i'm going to focus on is that if a card doesn't appear to be you know a long-term card for me i'm not going to use it for more than a month let's say right then I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to go out and get shoes and contracts and all that stuff. Uh whatever contracts a card comes with this year, I'll play with it. If I like it, then I, I'll sell that version and find the cheapest one that's got all that stuff and buy it. But I, I have so many cards this year that I, you know, I badged out myself or put shoe, bought shoes for, or bought diamond and I just think about how much MT I would have had at the end of the year and I had millions. Uh, and it's yeah. tough yeah so. yeah yeah for sure for sure um another thing I, I know that a lot of people around the community have talked about is removing contracts and i think that's something that they definitely need to look into i know madden did it in their ultimate team modes or the ultimate team mode i think that just removing contracts would just save so many people so much mt and vc because you know like you know same thing if you don't buy packs you know you're not gonna get the contracts as easily yeah, as people and- who just have all the money you know I I mean I see like I don't really know why actually 2K you know has why there's contracts in the game I I don't understand like you know when you get a card whether you get lucky and you pull it or you go out and you earn it through grinding the game or you know whatever it doesn't matter either way like no one wants contracts yeah, no one no so, one wants contracts yeah. nobody wants to spend yeah, their hard it. earn or hard money i mean because dude whether you spend money or you grind the game like you actually worked hard for something because those people that are spending money like they're spending yeah. money that they worked hard for Have like, the money. so it's the same thing yeah exactly it's just like 2k doesn't i don't know like why the contracts are actually in the game and like that that was like something i've been trying to i've been trying to make a video for two days and i just can't like get it right and it's like it, the, the title of the video yeah. is how to manage your my team and the first episode is on contracts and uh it, yeah i i still to to like right now after two days cannot figure out like i don't want to just put a video out there and it's like you know it doesn't make sense to people you know i, I i'm right right yeah. i've made a lot of videos in 2k not for 2k19 i think i made over 150 videos which is not as many as, you know, like YBC or somebody like that that's, you know, doing a gameplay on yeah, every yeah, video. Yeah. Um, but for a first year person, I mean, it's, I felt like it was quite a bit. Like, I felt like that's for all sure. I've done for the last year is, you know, yeah, either make, think, or edit videos. And, uh, oh, yeah. go ahead, sorry. 
Yeah, no, no, you're good. No, yeah, no, the same thing. The same thing for me. I, like, I've been wanted to like start like really grinding YouTube like for so long, and I just couldn't like find it in me to do it. And at the beginning of the summer, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go give it everything I have the summer and into the fall, and hopefully in 2K20, I could you know get big and get to where I want to be. So yeah, I think this summer, I, I, I think before this summer, I had. Uh, gee, like 20 videos on my channel, maybe less. I don't even know. But then like this summer alone from like June to like now, I think I made like over 40 videos. So it's like already doubled the amount of videos in like just one summer. So yeah, it's just like you said, it's just people are grinding. And they deserve to have their time and money well spent. And uh, contracts just is not the way to spend that yeah, money. Yeah, for sure. Or the, I, that coin. And, and I went back and played 2K18 last, I guess, last week or week before. And yeah, I actually when you video. open I packs in 2K18, you would get two to three contracts in every pack. It was crazy. Like, yeah. and I know all the packs weren't like that, but like, dude, you can't. That's we got to have some way of maybe on the triple threat board. Like, you know, I would suggest like if you if you're a person that is you know doesn't have a lot of MT and can't afford to open packs, I would suggest not playing any my team unlimited or whatever 5v5 mode is um and and playing triple threat until you can get you know some mt built up and and then when you play triple threat is don't uh, like use a card for the five games or whatever con how many amount of contracts it comes with and then sell it and buy one and that has else. a diamond contract or more whatever yeah, something that, similar yeah. like dude so many of these cards sure. like when you like step back and look like dude i could go use demar Derozan or i could use clyde drexler and the result and and i like clyde drexler better but at some point this year i like demar Derozan better it was weird but the results that i was getting from either of the cards they're very similar you know if i wanted to go out and and use that card and that was going to be my main card to score with you know i dropped 40 a game with them and i didn't have any problems doing right. it but like understanding that and you know letting go of your well i really like this is my favorite card and it's like well you know do you you like looking at that card or do you actually want to play with it yeah do you want yeah. to win yeah exactly um yeah no for sure i think that we actually yeah we haven't gotten really any my team news at all yet and they said like they're saving the best for last i don't know so hopefully something as good as coming because i know so far like we talked about i've been like really blown away with the my career stuff so hopefully my team does not disappoint um, all right, so what, okay, so let me just look here, I'm looking at some of these notes. Okay, so let's go into, like, some questions about YouTube. So you said this is your first year, you've done it for, like, this past uh, yeah, year? Yeah, I started last first year August, so I've been doing it for exactly a year. Last August. Got you, got you. Okay, so what, like, when, so did you always like video games when you were a kid, or what, like, what got you into video games, or into 2K I, specifically? I've play, played like 2K that? since, uh, 2K. Whatever it was just called two K two K whatever the okay. one with Alan wow. Iverson on the cover the Sega yeah, Dreamcast yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my, like just my like parents one. Yeah. like their best friends their kid actually uh, had a Dreamcast and uh, he went off to college and they let me uh, they let me have his Dreamcast so I could play that basketball yeah, yeah. game because I played it at their house at a pool party and I was like you know just okay. blown away because it was well I mean I only played like you know really old crappy basketball games and then and then i you know i got to college yeah, yeah. and i got you know i think it was like 2k two or three whatever the first 2k with dirk came out and dude dirk was unstoppable yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. you hit like 33s in a game with him but you know I, me and my friends <laughs> yeah, all played yeah. it in college and you know we, we played offline associations but you know we, we played against right. each other you know simulated thousands of seasons probably <laughs> Uh, just play the games against each other, but oh, yeah. I never played any online game until um, 2K18, uh, and, and I started in February of oh, last wow. year. So, uh, wow. okay, I just like was had stayed home with my wife uh, whenever she had the baby, and then I had a you know some stuff going on in my career. Uh, got involved with a builder that wasn't doing right, and I ended up taking the taking the hit in the fall for it and being stuck, yeah, you know, gotcha. not doing anything for a year. So, uh, you know, I love basketball. Yeah. I coach my son's basketball team. Uh, yeah, I've coached his basketball team since he was in second grade. 
I didn't coach him in first grade, but in second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth mm-hmm. grade. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, nice. and I, dude, it is like, if I could go back and, uh, you know, this is going to be my career path, I would, you know, choose, you know, something related to basketball. Um, I, and I honestly would have, would probably have started making YouTube videos for this years ago had I known that, you know, it was. I've wasted a lot of time in my life, like, yeah. <laughs> thinking about what I'm going to do instead of actually, you know, going out and uh-huh. doing it. You know, I had a very successful real estate career. And when that came to a halt, it was like, you know, I was coaching, my, I'd been coaching my son's basketball team for a couple of years then. And like, the only thing I could think of, you know, besides, spending time with my wife and kids that, you know, I, I really like enjoyed doing what, you know, was, was coaching, playing basketball, or, you know, obviously you can't do it in real life <laughs> good enough, you know, then on the video game, you know, that, that stimulates your mind next best. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I just love it. And I love the, you know, I know we all gripe about the problems and everything that, the, the 2k game has and everything but man it's like it's the closest thing to real life that you're gonna get and when you get older oh, dude sure. it's like it, it's seriously hard to find things that you know you, you can really get into and enjoy and i you know i'm lucky to you know have found something that i love to do and you know i i haven't been doing this for the longest at all but you know i feel like when it comes to my team and you know like the cards and you know, I can tell you, you know, pretty much anything about any of, any of the cards, what they can do. Um, yeah. And, and I just haven't figured, I haven't quite figured out how to convey that, you know, onto YouTube videos yet without signing, like, sound like an old dickhead. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my language. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I, I feel, I felt the same way. Like some things you were saying, you were saying how like you didn't really know what you, yeah, I felt the same way. Like I knew kind of like I wanted to do something with youtube and obviously you have a lot more experience than i do um but i knew i knew i wanted to you know make videos and make content i just didn't you know know how to get started and i feel like once you get started you kind of just start building off of all your ideas then you're always learning that's like the main thing that i think that a lot of people and youtubers um that are starting out uh, including myself like need to just understand like you you just got to learn something every single day, learn something new, try something new. And then if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Then, you know, for the future, not to do that anymore. You know what I mean? Just stuff, stuff like that. Just try trial and error. Yeah. I, I struggled with gameplays for the first probably six or eight months of 2k19. Like, I, I you know, I was new to YouTube and I, I watch all the videos of, you know, guys like Henry, the Blazian and DBG. They just, you know, or YBC or any, any of them, it doesn't matter who it is. They spit yeah, out yeah. content and, they go and they drop 40 or 50 cards with these cards. And, and, and I just, I, I couldn't do it at first of all, cause I, yeah. I'd only been playing the game for like six months at that time. When, when 2k yeah, yeah. Uh, 19 came out, I, I couldn't like go and get a card and drop, you know, 30 points with it. When I first started, I mean, people don't realize like, you know, how much time, it takes to become good at this at this game online. I oh, mean, yeah. obviously you can go and you can whoop the computer <laughs> right yeah, right out the exactly. right after opening the package. But uh, you know, online's <laughs> a different story. There's a lot of players, uh, you know, that are really good. There are people that there are, there are thousands of people that do this for a living between YouTube, Twitch, 2K League, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you know, whatever. Oh, it's grown so yeah, much. Well, yeah. So uh, you never know who you're going to face up against online. I, I like that, and I like to get beat. Um, sometimes just to, you know, bring me back down to earth and realize, Hey, you know, I'm going to have to, I I need to know more. I need to get better. Um, and and it just took a long time for me to get good enough to actually consistently be able to make gameplays for cards. And, uh, and then by the time, you know, I got to a point where, you know, maybe this spring or something where I was going 12 and 0 and, you know, I felt pretty confident if I, you know, got a card, I could do pretty good with it no matter you know, what card it was. And I just don't know, like if like just gameplays just, dude, I, I mean, there's so many cards that come out. It just seems so, I mean, it, you got to do them, I guess. I, I just, I want to yeah. do them differently. I, I don't feel like, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. I don't, I don't feel like the gameplays that we get right. And no offense to any of the YouTubers because they all do a great job. For sure. And for sure, are for much sure. more entertaining than I am or would be, but right. you know, I, I want to try to find the perfect mix for gameplays for 2k20 that it's entertaining, but it's also like, 
going to actually help you decide whether or not like this card is for you. Like, and, and it's, it's tough to figure out how to do that. It's like, you know, I want to try to base it off of like, I want to learn a lot in this demo and each card that comes out, I want to be able to tell my audience or, or convey to my audience that this is this build. It's going to play similar to this. And I, I want to take like, I really think that's what 2K does. And so finding a way to convey that to the, the community and, and actually get them to watch and like it, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, oh, yeah. but uh, I feel like it's important because, you know, I see people griping about cards and stuff all the time, and it's like, you know, uh, it, it, it just it, that card may not be able to just do those things that great. And Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's... It's like skill based too. So you see like some of these top YouTubers, yeah, great. Like obviously they can score fifty points with this card because they're good at the game. That doesn't mean that you could score fifty with that, like you were saying. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It, this card, you know, it cause it's 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 it goes back to the thing with contracts. Uh people don't want to spend money on contracts, but people also don't want to spend money on cards that aren't gonna get them wins. And yeah. you know, and trying to figure out how to, you know, help people get wins is like what what I'm all about, you know, I mean, I want yeah, people yeah. to have fun when they come to my channel, but I also want, you know, I, I'm very serious person. I mean, I joke around, but I'm a very serious person. Like, a, you know, basketball as a yeah. coach, I mean, the kids, they all love me. We have fun, but yeah. you know, when it's time to get down to business, we take things seriously. Like, cause sure. we're not here to hang out. We're here to get W's and yeah. this is preparation for those wins. And so if you guys, you know, are going to spend your time watching YouTube videos for my team cards or, or park builds or whatever, then they better be getting you W's, right? Like, you know, for if sure. you're not going 12 and 0 every month, uh, and, and I know the majority of people don't go 12 and 0 every month, uh, right. because you know, I, I have people hit me up constantly to go 12 and 0 for them. And, and I had to work really hard to get to a point where I can actually go 12 and 0 for people too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it was kind of like I went 12 and 0 for myself, and then I just started going 12 and 0 for everybody. And I about shit myself when I lost at 10 and 0 like four times in a row. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I finally got to where I, I mean, I could pretty consistently do it. I do lose it, you know. Yeah. That 10 and 0 mark game and the 4 and 0 mark game were really hard. Uh, mm -hmm. I did lose some of those and have to start over for people, but, you know, it didn't matter as long as you get the job done. But it definitely wasn't worth the $30 yeah, to. Uh, you know, people paid me to go 12 and 0 for them. And, you know, I had methods where I could, you know, match up with cards, but, you know, sometimes you have, you meet that guy that's got the method too, and yeah, he's yeah. better than you. And so exactly. if you don't get it done in like an hour and a half, two hours, then, you know, it's like, well, you can go work at McDonald's and make exactly. more money than that. Exactly. And that's pretty much what happened was that, you know, I would have been making more money working at McDonald's than I was going 12 and 0 for people, but yeah. Yeah, I 100% I agree with what you were saying about how you want to almost instruct people and teach people in your videos so that it's not just like, oh, well, he only did this because he's big or he's talented. Like, I feel the same way with, with my career. So I started really, like, I've always played my team and my career, but I've always really been like a career first guy. But until the summer, this summer, I really started playing a lot of my team because, well, career was kind of dead. Nobody really wanted to play it anymore. So I played my team. Um, And I feel the same way with, with, with my career. With my career, it's like, you know, like you were saying, if you're going to make a bit like tomorrow, you know how many build videos are going to come out tomorrow saying, Oh, this is the best build. Like, you know how many people are going to be watching these videos? Like you, it better be good. You better be telling people the, the actually right build to succeed. Otherwise you're not going to get the, you know, people aren't going to like it. Yeah. Uh, that's the that thing, dude. There's, I mean, I, I don't know who I was. I think it was uh jacked bill. Um, I watched a lot of his videos just because he, you know, he, he he's, he's real. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of people in the community, I guess, that he's pointed out and called out and actually was right on and, you know, different stuff. But he, you know, that's what he said yesterday was that we're not, there may be 300 different builds, possibilities in this game, but all you guys are going to do is go watch those same five or six YouTubers and build yeah. exactly what they build. So we're going to have yeah. five or six builds running around the park again, just like we have every single year in 2K. and uh. And 2K, and the thing is, is that, and he said this, and he had 2K's back on this. It's like, this thing is, is that 2K's doing these things. Maybe they may not make the park 
a whole new world for us yeah. to walk around on map. But yeah. maybe they're spending their time doing these things because they don't want they want uniqueness and they want you know for sure. mismatches and stuff out there on the court. So there's longevity for playing the game because if you're out there, you know, and there's six five sharpshooters on the court <laughs> and you're playing three on three. And all you do is chunk threes the whole game. Like, where's the interest level in that? How's it going to last? Um, because there's nothing unique about it. It's like everybody's doing the same thing. And I feel like that happens a lot in uh, my team Unlimited is like people off ball so that yeah. they can get you to blink. And they just chunk threes with, you know, somebody with Hall of Fame limitless range. And, mm-hmm. you know, they think that that's that they're good at basketball. And, and all actuality is, is that they're, you know, they're, I guess, glitching the system or whatever yeah. you know because Excellent, yeah yeah if, if, if you you know it doesn't matter what cards you have really if you just go out there and you play man-to-man and stuff obviously you know there are going to be mismatches on the court but like most people just that's what they do they off ball and they chunk limitless threes and once they it doesn't matter if they miss some at the beginning because once they make two or three in a row they don't miss for 10 straight and you know that pretty much has been the game mode so i, I think 2k is doing a good job of trying to differentiate i uh, yeah I agree. I, I agree. I think that I, I know what you're what you were saying is, is completely true with saying how, you know, people are going to all watch the YouTubers for the builds. And, you know, look, even myself included, like we're all going to make the video. Oh, yeah, this is the best build. But it's I think that what I th- well, I might even for me, at least I'm not really even going to look at I'm trying not to at least look at any videos before I make my build, because I like you, like you said, I want it to be unique to me. I think that with all this freedom that we seem to be getting in the demo tomorrow with like the my player builder and all that i think that hopefully as you were touching on like everybody's different and everybody uh, like not everybody can it's not all the same like like you were saying this year you'll get this year you'll go into a pro-am game you'll get okay you got the play sharp at the one you got the pure sharp at the two then you got the lockdown the rim protector and the uh, glass cleaner it's like it's the same build every single game and it's the same every every game is the same you know like you were saying so Hopefully that it just stays unique and people make their own builds and don't just look for YouTubers' builds. So I don't know. Hopefully, I mean, you, look, you know, look to the YouTubers. For, obviously, sorry, my notifications just for freaking Google. Sorry about that. You can look. I mean, I, I suggest looking to the YouTubers for builds, but like, go in and like, like you need yeah, mess around with mess it. Around like with it. the more you do on your own, the more you'll understand why you know, so-and-so told you to make this build on their video. And if you don't like it and you've actually went in there and done all the stuff, you'll know why you don't like, like the build. Because like, if, if you just copy and paste what somebody else is doing, it's just like cheating on your test. It's like, you might make an A, but like yeah, down the road, you, yeah. you if you need it, if you need that information, you don't have it. So if you don't go and create your you're own build, and do it on your yeah. own at first, you're not going to know why you don't like, you know, shake down or somebody i mean that's somebody i've been watching i like his videos i've been watching recently but yeah right i've been oh, watching yeah. his videos and if you don't like his build and all you did was go watch his and you know copy and paste the, where he put the num- not really copy and paste but you put your numbers in the same location as he put his then right. Right. like how will you know if you know you don't like it what what you should do differently you know it's like i'm gonna try to test out as many as i can Especially and, the- and i'm gonna obviously post post them up you know on youtube um, and I don't know what we're going to get if we're going to get like a my court or a freestyle, um, type yeah, place, I but know. I know that, you know, you can try out any build at any overall. So exactly. I'm thinking I'm going to try out a lot yeah, at that's like what I was just 90 say. overall, probably, uh, just because yeah, that's yeah. like, it's like 85, but then you're going to grind a little bit and you might spend a little bit more money because it's the beginning of the year to get your guy up once the full game comes out. So I think, you know, that number right there is a pretty obtainable number for most people. Um, uh-huh. especially like if, you know, a lot of people get that hundred dollar edition of the game. Uh, it comes with a hundred thousand VC and man, I, I used it for opening packs last year. All my, you know, and then I wanted to play my kid wanted me to start playing, uh, park with him. And yeah. well, I, I spent a hundred K VC and I only got like to a 78 <laughs> and, you know, I never got my guy yeah. up, but the, you know, those packs at the beginning of the year, all those cards are ass in the in there in my team and so yeah. um hopefully at some point you know they 
they add ho- some Hall of Fame badges or something because none of those cards have longevity. Like, um, so yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend my 100k VC or whatever comes with the game on upgrading my dude. And I get, can you do it in the demo? I guess I have to spend uh, more. I, yeah, I think you can. I know. I know. In previous years, you've been able to get to 85 okay. in the demo. I don't know if you're still going to be able to. I heard to. you could. I, I, I heard know. you could get to it, but I guess I'll have to spend separate uh, VC right. on my guy if I want to get right, him up right. to that during the demo. So I'd be like, yeah. well, I have to spend another 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, they're just taking bucks, our money. Yeah, yeah you can it, play yeah. with these guys in the demo, but uh, but you can't use your money from the pre-order. you got to have to buy some more VC. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely oh, what's yeah. going on, man. Yeah, they I- smart, man. They're smart. Uh-huh. <laughs> they are smart. You can't. You know, there's, there's. It's, it's, yeah, it's all it business, is, right? Uh, so I guess I need to. I need to. Uh, yeah, go get fifty more dollars for me and my kids so we can actually make our <laughs> yeah. guy decent during the demo, or we're gonna be. I, I get. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably not gonna play that much in the demo anyway, dude. I mean, like, like I said before, my focus is on you know helping the community get more wins and uh, right. through you know through my channel. So. Uh, that, that I think for me would be if I'm able to test out the car or not the cards, but the builds for me, that would be the thing I will spend all my time doing is testing out every single build I can possible. Um, because I don't think it's just going to help me for my career. It's going to help me for, uh, my team. Yeah. Because dude, I'm going to have this OP build and when a card comes out, you're going to recognize it. Right. you know, and it's like, Oh shit. This is the card, and and that's one thing that, like, you know, throughout the year is, like, I, I had Ruby Thurl Bailey. I, I dropped a video on him, and, and it's probably my, one of my best gameplays. I mean, like, it's got over a 1,000 views on it, and, and my gameplay videos, like, that's about the best that any of them have. Jimmy Butler uh, and D-Wade Duo one has over a 1,000 and stuff. My sniping videos have you know, mostly over a thousand views on them. And I just got one that had 10,000 views got on you. it. Uh, just past wow. that. That's like Congrats. my last few video, but as far as, you yeah. know, gameplays Congrats. go, dude, it, it, it's such a tough competition, like market, like, and oh, yeah. if you're getting in and if and just for other people that are listening to this, that if you're interested in making, you know, YouTube videos for my team or park or whatever, like the gameplay market, is oversaturated meaning dude there's there's eight to ten people that come out with the videos pretty regularly like within hours of when the cards drop so it's tough to it's tough to get that so what i was going to say was is that ruby thurl bailey i actually dropped that video first and that kind of like you know got me a little bit of like people actually were like, dude, we've been waiting on somebody to drop this video. Nobody has yet. And yeah, like, you know, just if like being able to see that card and see how that it was going to be overpowered and you can still actually use that card today. It's still, it just is, uh, is something mm-hmm. that, you know, people, they, they take a liking to it. It's like, cause I can get this card for a thousand MT that can compete with, you know, at the time, like Pink Diamond, Blake Griffin, or, you know, whoever the best power forward was, Pink Diamond, Anthony Davis. Uh, right. And that they'll, they'll subscribe to your channel and everything for, for just for that. But like, oh, yeah. you know, dude, that's, that's kind of how I want to, why I want to do all these builds and everything is, you know, I want to like the only way for a smaller YouTuber to, you know, gain, gain anything from doing these build videos is like, you need to you need to like be able to point out and find like good things and flaws in the cards that these other big time YouTubers and stuff people are overlooking because you need a you need a reason for um you know the people that are watching their watching. videos to come over and watch your videos you know so uh, that's gonna be my focus for you know the next two weeks is learning all the new builds the dribble animations everything I want I want to be able to in my gameplays, you know, tell my subscribers what release a card has without a shadow of a doubt and not just go look on play now and tell you because half the time that shit's wrong because they change <laughs> My team has custom releases just like Park does. They just don't let you change them. They change them before. Yeah, and uh, exactly. so I, yeah, I've done, 
I've seen people, you know, say people have certain releases, and I'm like, dude, have you shot with the this, this other card? It has the same release. It's like that's not that yeah. release, you know. It's like so I want to be able to know that stuff because I think that's important to, uh, you know, people in the game, and not just base eleven, but like or base eight. Like you know, what are, what are these other releases like? Because you know, there's a lot of people that like Michael Porter Jr.'s release. Have you heard anyone call that release by name? Uh, no, I uh, no, I have not. Me neither. <laughs> uh, I mean, and like, so he has it. Glenn Rice has it. Uh, Brian Scalabrini has it. But well, what's it called? Like, so like, you know, because that's it. Yeah. Those are three cards yeah, that people three, actually right? here at the end of the year really liked. And next year they're gonna be like, you know, it's the Brian Scalabrini release from two K nineteen, and they're gonna be like, huh, oh, what? You know, especially if they didn't play with yeah, the card. Yeah. You know, obviously not a lot of people have used Brian Scalabrini. I mean, there's probably a thousand, fifteen hundred downloads of it, um, yeah. and there's you know ten million people that play my team, <laughs> so for yeah. sure, yeah. No, I a hundred percent agree with you know. You have to find something that you have to be different. You have to do what's popular so you get the exposure, but you also have to be different because, like you said, it's just completely oversaturated. And gaming in general, it's it's tough to grow a gaming channel these days. Like back. You know, back when these guys got big, these big YouTubers now, all these 2K guys, you know, YouTube was just coming up. So it was not, I'm not going to say easy, but it was easier because no one else was doing it. Now everyone's doing it. So you have to really be different and, you know, put in your own twist to something that somebody else might have done already, but you, you just have to make it unique in yourself. Absolutely. And I know you mean no disrespect on that. Is I, I, I say no, that kind no, of stuff no. all the time too, you know, because I, I wish I would have got in, you know, four or five years ago whenever it was just starting 100%. out. Um uh, but like, yeah, you, it's tough to break into any market. It doesn't have to be YouTube, it'd be anything. It's tough to break into a market as a new person uh, doing it. And that that's what I wanted, you know, I want my knowledge to, to separate me from, you know, the community. So when somebody does come right. and, and, you know, takes a chance and clicks on one of my videos, they're like, oh, shit, man, that was actually better than, you know, so-and-so's video on this on this card and and you know it's like there's 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 knowledge guys and there's guys that just watch for entertainment and so yeah i I mean that that's something that i'm trying to my kid you know tells me all the time is that you know dude you're gonna have to be funny man he's like my whole baseball team watches troy dan yeah it's like my whole baseball and and he's like he's like you know he doesn't put the videos out at the beginning, he puts them out, you know, whenever he wants to. And I was like, well, that's because, exactly. you know, he's at that point right now. It's like, go back and watch Troy Dan in 2K15, 2K16. That dude grinded, like, released videos every oh, yeah. day. I was like, you know, I want to get to Troy Dan's point because I think, you know, uh, long-term quality over quantity is, yeah. like, huge for the channel. Very because, like, I want, like, the thing about YouTube and that most people don't realize is, like, I want people to click on my videos and watch them, you know, down the road because they're, you know, years down the road because they're quality because I'll, I'll still be collecting money off of that. Like, and that's what I tell my yeah. son. I'm like, you know, at some point, you know, I don't know when, but that's, I have to shift my focus to quality because if you want to take this yeah. channel over, you know, when I get old or you get older and have yeah. it creating any kind of income for you, um, that's lasting, then the videos from years prior have to be, you know, still getting clicks on them. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's, it's tough because when you're first starting, all you ever hear from, you know, you'll watch videos. Oh, how do I grow this channel? How do I grow a channel? You know, the, everyone always says, Oh, you has got to be consistent with your upload, just upload, upload, upload. But like you said, it's when you're starting off, yeah, you, you're going to want to upload five times a week or stream or whatever you do five, six times a week, you know, However, like you said, once you get to a certain point, it's like, okay, am I putting out five good videos a week or am I putting out five videos just because I want to upload? It's, you know, it's like you said, the quality at a certain point, you need to really, like you said, shift your attention to the quality, maybe upload three videos a week, but have them be super high quality rather than five, not so great quality. You know? Yeah. So I, I would suggest just starting out, like you'll burn out trying to do it. I mean, I, I almost burnt out myself in, in the first year and and that's going to be my focus this year is not going to be, I'm not going to try to compete with, you know, YBC or bio or, you know, whoever it is that always gets gameplays out first. Like I'm going to try to compete with Troy Dan. Like, and when I say that, I don't mean I'm going to take his viewers. I mean, 
right. I'm going to, if I'm going to drop a video on the cards that come out, it's going to be a video oh, yeah. that has links to it. And it's going to be a video that I put my time into. Um, and I'm not, it's not going to be like, I'm going to spend a thousand bucks on packs like Troy Dan does each week. For sure. Um, <laughs> it's going to be something different, but it, I can't, you can't, when you're a new YouTuber, putting out, you know, 10 videos a week or let's say 15 videos a week, because that's how many, about how many cards we get each week. Yeah. You get, you're trying to get new people who have never met or seen you before. Click a button that says that every three times a day, if you drop it a lot, they're going to get a notification to go watch one of your videos. If you're not putting any time into the quality of those videos, they're not going to click that button. And mm-hmm. if they don't click that button when they first come there, they're not it's, back. It, well, they're not coming back. But to get them back, you actually have to have thousands of people talking about how awesome a video is for them to go back and watch you. For sure. And and that's something that I didn't do in my first year, but like that I'm going to transition to now because i was watching a video from this guy that works at youtube and he suggested you know one video a week for um youtube channels like you know if in gaming it could be a a little bit more than that obviously because your audience is going to be you know 12 to 25 year old boys and they have more time on their hands than any other uh you know age group of people in the world so uh they watch more youtube videos um Mm -hmm. I mean, my son, that's all he ever does. He doesn't watch TV. He, I mean, he's like, yeah. he plays video games, watches YouTube, and he plays baseball and basketball in real life. That's it. Yeah, for sure. That's his life. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of young kids, boys, especially lives these days. And, but at the same time, that's, that's good in a way, because then, you know, if, like you said, if someone, if the right person happens to come across your video and you have put the time in, and then next thing you know, you could be up there with, uh, some of the, the, the guys you look up to. Yeah, for sure. And, and, yeah. and I, that's a, and, you know, thinking about these, these like, build videos and stuff coming out, out like, I, I'm i going to record all of them, and I'm going to, you know, try to put some out. But, like, it's not going to do me a lot of good as, as a new YouTuber, I would think, to just, like, put out, put out, put out, put out, and it not be quality. Like, right. I'm going to try to, like, go in depth on, you know, what I, the ones, you know, what I think about all of them and and if that's an hour-long video it's an hour-long video and mm-hmm. you know dude i mean an hour long some of the hour-long 30 to 45 minute videos i have they're getting just as much views as my normal videos do i mean they yeah. get i could put up a gameplay you know a couple weeks ago now you know i'm lucky if i get 100 views right now because <laughs> yeah. the majority of my audience is not watching 2k19 and my audience is small so yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> go figure but yeah. You know, I, I, a couple of weeks ago in July, let's just say, you know, I, I made three best 12 and 0 methods and they all got, you know, three to 500 views on them. And I made three or four gameplays and they all got, you know, three to 500 views on them. So like, and the gameplays were 10 to 15 minutes long and the best 12 and 0 methods were 30 minutes to an hour long. Yeah. And so like, I put way more into those, you know, other videos and the gameplay is no longer getting any views. The best 12 and 0 methods are still, obviously those are going to last because like, dude, there's going to be people that still play 2K8 or 19, like tons of people who aren't going to get 2K20 when it comes out in two weeks. Either they don't have the money, their parents are going to say you can get it for your birthday or Christmas. Uh, you know, what? why do you, you know, people just don't buy games for their kids all the time. Uh, you know, or, you know, someone just got the game when it was three dollars, and it's new to them, and they're not they're not ready to go spend sixty bucks on a exactly, yeah. on a new game. So, th- those best twelve and zero method videos will continually get views for, I mean, until the two K net eight nineteen servers are yeah. are gone, where the gameplay videos, dude, like, you know, so if somebody wants a card, and they are going to go out there and search for that card. The likeliness of them finding my video for, let's just say, uh, Pink Diamond D-Wade 
I want to get this Pink Diamond D-Way, but I don't know if it's any good, so they can go type it in. They probably won't find my Pink Diamond D-Way right, video. Right, right. They're probably going to find somebody else's. But if they want to go 12-0 and 0 and they see different, they're going to watch multiple videos of that because it's like that's something that they know is hard and they won't, they won't just trust the first thing they hear. So the, the likelihood of them stumbling upon my videos is good. So, you know, focus moving forward is, you know, trying to produce quality over quantity. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, the, I think that will be helpful for the community. And also, also it'll give me time to, uh, you know, work on my joke telling and stuff. For sure. For sure. All right. Um, so, um, guys, if, if you're watching this, uh, before I ask, Carson, one last question here. I just want to say thank you guys if you've made it this far into the video. I know it was a little different, um, but I I hope you guys have been enjoying. I of course certainly have, uh, and I'm hoping to do more of these types of interviews in the future. Now, but for my last question, uh, Carson, I'm pretty much I always like asking people when I talk to them about their goals because I feel like if you can share goals with other people and if you have your own goals and they're good goals and you work towards them, I feel like you can achieve anything. So I'm going to end off this interview by asking you, what are some of your goals for 2K20? Uh, short term is to pass a thousand subscribers so I can start getting paid for doing this. I've been doing it for free for a year now. Uh, mm-hmm. In the next three months, get over 10,000 subscribers. Uh, just this year as a whole, try to, uh, I just, I want to help people, you know, like if it's 12 and 0 or whatever, I want to help, you know, a thousand people go 12 and 0, whatever the case is. So like, I just want like those testimonials of people going to my channel and, you know, like I have some of those now and it feels good to, you know, just have, you know, people that play 2k to go to the channel and be like, Hey man, you really did help me. Uh, yeah, you feel good. Yeah. And so like, just to, you know, that number to continue to grow. Uh, I think that's the most important thing is like, you know, how many people have I helped? And, uh, you know, I actually, my best 12 and 0 method from last month actually helped a lot of people actually go 12 and 0 for the first time on their own. Like I didn't do it for them. Absolutely. So, uh, that was cool. Um, yeah. I mean, personally, like my personal goals would be to, you know, I hope to get over like 20 K subscribers this year. That's that's something I'm going to push for. Um, and, you know, obviously my family spent, you know, take my family, be able to take my family on vacations again. Like, oh, I, love dude, that, yeah. I mean, like you, you don't know what it's like probably because you're younger yet, but it, 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 you don't know what it's like to go from making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year to making nothing. <laughs> I mean, dude, yeah, uh, for sure. it's tough. And uh, I, I can't wait to get back to work. I'm in a position where I can just like, you know, buy plane tickets and uh, book a house or a hotel, preferably a house. Like my, my wife likes more of the uh, what's it called Airbnb home away type of deal rather than staying in a hotel. Gotcha. And, yeah. and so we like to get a house and, you know, a house with a pool in the backyard and stuff. And it's, you know, a couple hundred dollars a night, but it's not any more expensive than staying in a nice hotel in a Exactly, in a big yeah. city so yeah uh yeah that, that's a big goal of mine is to get to a place where i can you know start taking my family on trips and stuff and you know i, I am interviewing for some jobs so i might not be uh having as much free time on the game but you know I, i'll still have plenty of time to do what i want to do and that's to, like i said to you know create one or two quality videos a week and that that's going to be my you know goal for 2k20 is to you know if i put something out it's it's going to be very watchable for sure that's those are great goals man i i i agree with you with what you were saying i think that you know those very you have to start small like you said a thousand subscribers first and keep building your way up you you can't i mean you could but it's you don't want to just jump the gun a lot of people be like oh yeah i want 100k it's like you got to get 1k first i get 500 first i get 100 first you know you got to start slow but you know once you once you get past a couple thousand it can grow very quickly as i've seen from other youtubers um but yeah but that's pretty much gonna wrap it up guys um carson i want to say thank you so much for allowing me to interview you and for coming on to my channel essentially um it was a pleasure to meet and talk to you yeah i appreciate um, it man. sorry yeah sorry um yeah so yeah for sure um if you ever want to collab on anything maybe in 2k20 i first you know set me up you know Twitter message me. We could find something here if you 
want to do another one of these interviews. Maybe we'll do another one. Who knows? We'll see. Absolutely, man. Yeah. I mean, if, you know, see how this one goes, if it goes well for you and uh, you, the demo comes out, I guess, tomorrow and next week or this weekend or whenever, uh, if this video, you know, d- you know, was received well by your audience and you want right. to do another one, we could talk about some builds or something once we've both gotten sure. our hands on the game. 100%, 100%. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. Be sure to go down to the description and follow Carson Cruz on Twitter and subscribe to his channel. Um, he's gonna, like You guys heard he's going to be pumping out content this year. Um, and yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that as well and follow myself on Twitter. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace out.